Hey, welcome back. I hope you are enjoying so far. So in this video, we are going to go uh, a little bit more complex using stories. So remember this story that we created in the last video. I'm going to edit this story. And what we can do at Botify is uh, add the follow-up messages between user and chatbot in the same question. So let's say after replying the user with the office timings, my user asks, are you open on Friday? And my chatbot can respond with, yes, we are open Monday to Friday. So let's save it and see how this conversation works in the text chatbot window. So first we will ask, what are your office timings? chatbot response now I ask whether you are open on Friday and my chatbot give me the next response remember that the follow-up responses cannot be asked directly so now that the conversation has ended this particular story has ended if I ask the question are you open on Friday my chatbot will not be able to recognize this question because that only happens um, in the middle of the conversation so this is the this is how you will create the follow-up conversations at Botify the next thing we are going to look at is about the searching criteria so you must be confused what do we mean by keyword or phrase here so the phrase is simply the intelligent criteria um, where chatbot understand the spelling mistakes and uh, take care of the preposition stuff um, so remember last time we talked about what are your office timings and we set it as a phrase match my user can ask the same question like when are you open or what are your work timings the more intelligent my chatbot will become this is the uh, use of the phrase match. Uh, beside this, if we go and check out the keyword combination, the keyword combination is a little bit more simple. It just takes care of a particular word within the user question like office timings or work timings. Now, no matter how my user asks the question, but the chatbot is just looking at whether this question contains the word office timings my chatbot will respond and the way you can handle different um, context of the questions so let's say my user wants to ask something like um, how your office timings are different from UA so in this way uh, I do not want to mix it up with what are your office timings so uh, I want to add one more word into my keyword group which is UAE so this way, my chatbot will be looking at the two keywords, UA and either of office timings or work timings, and responding the user with the right response. So the next thing that we are going to look at is the alternate response. So once we have set the response, like our office timings are 9 to 6 p.m., what you can do is add more alternate responses, like our work timings are 9 to 6 p.m. So this way, the chatbot will be randomizing the responses between these two options or these two responses. And the end user will feel like, uh, oh, this chatbot is a little bit intelligent. It's responding me uh, differently each time I ask the same question. And um, the last bit of puzzle we are going to cover in this uh, tutorial is the quick replies. So sometimes what happens is that you want to give the user options to choose from rather than, you know, typing um, openly so what you can do is give them two options like yes and no and your chatbot can have a different response once you um, once the user select yes and if my user select no my chatbot can respond differently let's try out this in the test window 
let me save this story first now i'm typing what office timing we know that i have created uh, this story with the keyword of office timing so that is triggered and it responds me and also giving me two options either yes or no if i choose yes my chatbot will follow the path of the yes selection and remember that you can keep on building um, or adding more messages onto the path which user select the last thing that you need to understand is i set two stories with almost the same question what are your office timings and office timings for timings you need to remember that the keyword combination is always going to take the precedence over phrase space in case of the conflict like this i hope you liked the video and it was easy enough to understand see you in the next videos